Robots come in a variety of sizes and shapes. The ones that resemble us humans are likely the most intriguing, appealing, and acceptable. Indeed, some robots resemble female humans. In this video, we will show you female humanoid robots with whom you would love to go for a date. Female humanoid robots are utilized in fields such as personal support and caregiving, education and entertainment, search and rescue, manufacturing and maintenance, public relations and healthcare. This is definitely an excellent way to cater to the needs of everyone and is also quite handy. Consequently, humanoids are being created for various reasons, including but not limited to research. Humanoids are now developed to do a wide range of human tasks and fulfill many positions in the workplace. They are thought to be beneficial and might help people relax. Personal assistant, receptionist, and front desk officer are just a few of the tasks they could fill. The process of developing a humanoid is complex and time-consuming. Engineers and inventors regularly face challenges. High-quality sensors and actuators are essential because even the slightest inaccuracy might have fatal implications. The female gendering of AI objects contributes to humanizing them since women are viewed as warmer and more prone to have emotions than men. Warmth and experience, but not competence, are considered essential attributes in a complete human, yet they are lacking in machines. Before we proceed further, for everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Women are more objectified in AI than males, not just because they are seen as the ideal assistant, but also because people assign more humanity to women than men in the first place. This is the reason why there are more female humanoid robots that are close to humans. Here are some female humanoid robots that you will absolutely date if given the opportunity. Ever One and Ever Two Ever One is the first gynoid to be released, selling for $321,000 at the International Robot Exhibition in Tokyo in 2003. Her name is a blend of the biblical Eve and the letter R from Robot. Her designers, a group of South Korean scientists affiliated with the Korea University of Science and Technology, shaped her face to resemble the faces of two notable Korean actresses and the torso of a singer. Still, the model's names were never revealed. Ever One was able to mimic human emotions. This is such as joy, sadness, wrath, and astonishment. This is a huge step forward because feelings are notoriously difficult to incorporate. Because she understood 400 Korean and English words, she could respond to inquiries both audibly and with 15 different facial expressions. During Robot World 2006 in Seoul, Ever 2, her replacement, was revealed with minor upgrades. Sophia On October 11, 2017, Sophia made her first visit to the United Nations. She became the first humanoid robot to be granted citizenship in Saudi Arabia. Hansen Robotics built Sophia, a robot that can do a wide range of human tasks. She is claimed to be capable of expressing herself in various ways with up to 50 different facial expressions. Her eyes are animated, and she has a human-like sense of humor. The late British actress Audrey Hepburn was thought to be her inspiration. In January 2018, Sophia received functional legs and the capacity to walk. Sophia's lifelike scan and ability to replicate more than 60 facial emotions were also praised by CNBC. Sophia, a social humanoid built by Hong Kong-based Hanson Robotics, is perhaps the most famous face of humanoids. In 2020, the four-year-old AI-powered robot will continue to serve as a robotic ambassador, assisting in advancing robotics and human-robot interactions research. Sophia can move, communicate, express some emotions, draw, and sing after being taught by humans. Eliza Eliza, a piece of computer software that was one of the first attempts to replicate human speech, is related to Sophia. The software has been built to respond to specific inquiries or phrases with pre-written responses, similar to a chatbot. These responses, which include basic questions like, is the door open, are meant to demonstrate that the robot understands speech. Erica Erica is changing Japan's robot culture as one of the most beautiful and clever androids. Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International collaborated on this advanced humanoid. Erika was built by a team led by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor of Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Professor Ishiguro created Erika's facial features using sample photographs of 30 gorgeous ladies who replied to inquiries with facial expressions comparable to those of humans. Erika's speech has also improved, as has her ability to understand and respond to questions. Erika is a high-tech android created as a research platform for studying human-robot interaction. It speaks in natural language, has a human-like voice, and can make a range of facial expressions. Gia Gia. 
In 2016, a team from China's University of Science and Technology worked for three years to create this humanoid robot. She can converse, but her movement is restricted and her speech is stilted. Although she does not yet have a full range of expressions, the developers intend to continue working on her and offer her learning abilities. Although her speech and grammar should be improved, she becomes more relatable to the general public. Komodo Roy TV Presenter In 2014, the Komodo Roy TV Presenter was created in Japan. In Japanese, her name is a combination of Komodoro and Android. She is multilingual and can read the news and provide weather forecasts in real time. She has been appointed to the Emerging Science and Innovation Museum in Tokyo, where she is currently employed. Aiko Aiko, a robot that can react to physical stimuli and replicate pain, was featured in the Daily Mail in 2009. She is tasked with assisting persons who have had limbs amputated in the acquisition of lifelike artificial limbs. Her on and off switch is conveniently located in her crotch. She was influenced by Japanese anime, particularly Chobits, which in 2002 featured a gynoid as one of the main characters. The Rise of Female Humanoid Robots In general, when compared to non-human beings, women are viewed as more human than males. Female bots have more positive human characteristics than male bots, and they are seen as more human than male humanoids when contrasted with both animals and technology. Female bots assumed humanity boosts the perceived distinctiveness of their treatment in a health context, resulting in more favorable sentiments toward AI solutions. To distinguish between male and female robots, new words based on the structure of the word android was coined, gynoid and fembot. While Gwyneth Jones coined the term gynoid to describe a robot slave assessed solely on her appearance in her 1985 novel Divine Endurance, the term fembot became popular in the 1970s, thanks to the television series The Bionic Woman. According to research, men and male robots are viewed as more human in the negative aspects of subtle humanist measures, whereas women and female robots are perceived as more human in the most subtle, all-obvious, and implicit humanist measures. These findings could hint at a new reason why individuals prefer female to male intelligent computers. Female intelligent machines are more connected to humanity than intelligent male machines. Specific components such as sensors and actuators allow humanoids to move, talk, and execute activities. Humanoid robots are supposed to have a structure comparable to humans. They have a head, torso, arms, and legs, albeit not all humanoids have these features. Humanoids are largely androids or based only on a few critical human characteristics, such as the human head. A humanoid robot built to look like a man is known as an android. Gynoids, on the other hand, have a female human appearance. This study draws on what distinguishes humans from machines to comprehend better the fundamental foundations of AI's pervasive female gendering. We propose that feminine gendering of AI objects helps them appear more human and more likely to respect our unique requirements because feelings are at the core of our humanity and women are viewed as more likely to have feelings. However, by communicating the impression that women are products and simple instruments created to serve their owner's demands, this process of changing women into objects may lead to their objectification. This could lead to increased objectification and dehumanization of women in the non-digital world. With this, people must be careful to utilize such robots. This technology might be advancing, but people should still keep an eye on it. And that's all for today's video. What do you think about these female humanoid robots? Do you think you can date these advanced yet intricately beautiful bots? Also, what are your thoughts on this video? Feel free to drop your responses in the comments section below, or these crocodiles will bite you. And before leaving, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button for notifications on our future content. See you in the next video. Take care.